Oh yeah, that's good. Good morning, everybody. I'm just waking up. I just got my coffee going, and I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about uh, some of the upcoming things going on in my life, and um, also a little bit about keeping warm in the winter time. Winter is starting to set in. It is getting chillier. I am sitting at about 50 degrees, somewhere around there. And it doesn't look like it's going to get much better than that today with maybe a high of 61, I think it was, here in the Denver metro area. Um, so the colder weather is setting in. It is getting here. Fall has come. And some of the northern states, it's already getting multiple feet of snow. So people are well aware that winter is, is in full swing right now. Um, so yeah, one of the biggest things that I use to keep warm is coffee. You know, in the morning I need my caffeine. I am very addicted to coffee. I, I need it to function 100%. Um, and it is also very good for keeping you warm, you know, warm liquids, you know, eating warm foods and, and drinking warm liquids. It does help to warm you up. That's one of the methods I use to keep warm is, is eating warm foods and drinking warm liquids, coffee in general. So some of the things that I use to stay warm and one of the biggest things, and it's probably one of the most common and popular items out there is you have your Mr. Buddy heater. This thing I've been going off of let me see, I've had this one for about a year. I've gone through two of these. My first one crapped out after about two and a half years. All I do is simply turn it on, warm it up inside, you know, usually from a low setting. I don't typically put it on high setting, but I'll turn it on low until it warms up in here and then I'll click, click it down until it's on the pilot light. Um, so that's one of the, one of the ways that I, I keep warm in the winter time is I have my Mr. Buddy heater and I usually have quite a bit stocked up on propane, the cylinders that go with it. Some people do take a larger cylinder and get a converter to run from the larger cylinder to the Mr. Buddy heater. And I've thought about doing that except for space in my van is very limited and the larger tank would drastically change the aspects of the inside of my life. um another thing that you could also stock up on that could make a huge difference is you can get the little hand and feet warmers and these actually make a difference especially at the nighttime when it gets really cold and you're trying to sleep you know take a couple of those and you know wrap up or in your blanket with those and it does generate a little bit of heat body heat and it it does make a difference um, some people use hot water bottles and I don't have one myself I've thought about getting one myself it is an extra step because you got to boil your own water um, but you know I've heard a lot of people use those and they they keep you nice and warm nice and snug in the night so <clears throat> another thing is when it's cold you don't you know, a lot of people like to go without their clothes and, you know, for a comfort level and stuff. But when it's cold out there, I just, I do not do that myself. I'm usually bundled up. I even sleep in my clothes. You know, I'll have uh, some fleece bottoms that I can wear and I'll wear a sweater or a hoodie with, with me when I go to sleep. And that makes all the difference in the world. Um, I do have <clears throat> several blankets in here. I have my fleece blanket. I have... The interior of a winter sleeping bag so a, a, a pretty low temperature sleeping bag interior that I have plus I have my summer sleeping bag so all three of those um, makes it quite comfortable and warm you know in the winter time when it gets down especially down into those zero degrees and below I do have an other method that I use and it does work it's an open flame unfortunately it's open flame and you got to be more cautious with it but it does make a difference um, and I just went out and bought these this morning I actually got this guy here for clearance three dollars and it's normally like a twelve dollar freaking candle um, it's only a single wick candle 
but I, I got this other one that has three wicks in there, or you can stock up on tea light candles. Tea light candles also work too. Um, but believe it or not, open flame does make a difference. You just gotta be more cautious, uh, pay attention where you're putting it, what is above it. You know, my, my table where I have set up, I have paper towels hanging from a rack um, up top. So putting my candles on my table is, it's one of those things I, I can't do because it will catch things on fire. So usually I'll have a little side table that I set up and I'll have these put up there with the open flame. Three wicks is my favorite to use because you got three open flames burning and it does generate heat. Believe it or not, it does make a difference. It's kind of like warming up the vehicle with the, with the Mr. Buddy heater and then keeping the pilot light on. It's still generating enough heat enough heat that you don't have to kick it on every you know five ten minutes you can do it every half hour to an hour or something and really conserve that fuel um so candles is another really good thing and um just a little bit more dangerous to use i and in, in my personal opinion but uh i have had nothing but good good with that uh it keeps you warm you know <clears throat> so that's some of the ways that I keep warm in the winter time. When it gets cold, I got my buddy heater. I use hand warmers. I got my candles that I generate. And my all-time favorite, I drink hot coffee. <laughs>